Isn't it just beautiful? Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to our winter wonderland here in Anno 1800. The Frozen Passage DLC continues, as we're today, we're going to build ourselves a uh, deposit over here to gain, I don't know exactly, a mine of some sort to, to get gas for some reason. Uh, we're, we're swinging by the gas station, I guess, on our way to discover uh, the lost crew ready. of the two ships here of the Lost Expedition. Good to see you all back. If you haven't already, make sure you click, tap, destroy, blow up that like button. Thanks as always for the support. I'm blown away by it, by the way. Over a million likes last year. That is awesome. I really appreciate all the encouragement because these games are really fun and time consuming and it's nice to know everyone likes to see them played. Our airship is coming over now to uh, basically uh, build a trading depot. This is our first look then at a new type of trading depot, which is an air station or whatever the word is for it let's see if we can park here there it is and let's see if we can put it down right here it's an unpopulated island we're going to build a trading post here and look at all that money we almost got a million dollars even though i'm losing a little bit of cash we're gaining a ton of money from trading machines back in the old world so money is good oh it looks like we got a trading post here that we can maybe build off just like with a city let's see oh, we can cool so we can't trade via boat here no not at all so we'll have to trade via the airship. So anything that we need to come here, we'll just have to build another airship to transport back and forth from, like, for example, our main island, just to get it up there. And <clears throat> I do believe we almost have enough machines to build another one. Uh, we're just waiting for the ship to come in. Oh, here it is. Perfect. Excellent. Now, as always, make sure you name all of our islands and whatnot. I think I've picked a few winners, but we've got one or two more days to get your names in for airships, islands, and, of course, our uh, warships and other things, too. So thanks to everybody for all their lovely support. Looks like we can make another airship. We do have enough for one more. So we'll be able to use one for exploration and one for trading. Now we have to figure out how these uh, new thingies here work. These, um... Oh, electricity. Ah. The gas mines can actually uh, be used for electricity. I'm assuming these work just like oil, looks like. I think we can put these here and here just like oil derricks. And then we're probably, yeah, we're going to need people here on the island in order to do that. I wonder if there's a way to get people to go back and forth. Oh, wow. We can also make, uh, well, I, ooh, we have a husky farm. Cool. We can do get donks together. Although I don't know exactly what that does, though. It produces good uh, goods, which is the, the husky sled factory. But I don't know where we're going to have to bring those. Eventually, we could probably load them onto boats and go exploring with them. So that's probably going to be a good thing. Do you drag this on forever? In the meantime, we need to... Uh, requ this requires resource deposit. Well, that's interesting because that's ga a gas deposit there. And this is a gas mine. Maybe I'm building the wrong uh, resource for that. It should be the same, right? Gas mine, gas mine. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Can I build anything here? Um, I, I suppose we need the workforce in order to do it, really. And then maybe something to build it. Oh, gas pump, right. So requires resource deposit. So we're going to need to bring some more wood and Waiting such up course. here. So right now it's called Ock Bay. So we're going to go down this way and grab some more wood and some other things. So looks like oh, we got the newspaper at our disposal. Timing, as always. Let's go ahead and tell the truth here. All positivity and good, good vibes. Good. That Perfect. Draw attention away from All right. So let's Just see here. What? I want to bring some of more course, stuff from the old you know world. What's best. So let's go ahead and bring some ships back for that. Old world with a few ships. New horizons. And we have plenty of wood standing by, too. Some of these ships here no with plenty of... Uh, actually, we could probably, probably trade by bringing a ship close by and then just having an airship bring it up the hill. Uh, let's see. We don't have all we need. Oh, it looks like we need some more goose feathers. That's interesting. We have a goose farm here. It looks like we should probably make some more. Oh, wow. We're really running out of room over here for stuff. I wonder if I could build a husky factory. Well, actually, we have to build a sled uh, frame factory first. Okay, we could probably tuck that in here. Oh, it's a little too wide. Mm. <clears throat> Alright, let's put it up here. Then we'll build our sled factory here. And then our husky farm right here. And we need a few areas to maintain the dogs. Ah, oh, here they come. There's the airship. Okay, so hopefully that'll all equal out. Now the next thing they want is coffee too, it seems. Coffee plantation. That's all New World stuff. So we'll have to start a chain for that. Um, and then electricity. Looks like we... A gas-fired power plant. Interesting. We'll need inve investors. Oh, maybe on the uh, other... Probably in our uh, main world. Okay, let's dump off the rest of this stuff. Uh, we should be able to dump off a bunch of planks. Good. And this ship should be able to pick up some stuff. So let's grab... Uh, oh, there's actually some items there. 
Okay, let's grab some wood. And everything has to be transported up to the top of that hill, so uh, we may as well grab whatever, whatever we need most. So maybe some more iron. And maybe some bricks? Actually, coal might be a good idea. Although we're low on that too, even though we're bringing some in. A few shortages here and there because of our consumption on this main island. But at least we've got ships on the way with more. Okay. <clears throat> Let's drop off those uh, materials. We should be able to bring some people there soon, too. First airship is about a fourth of the way done. Okay, let's head on back to the old world and get started with uh, transferring more items. Awaiting new horizons. Some of these ships here are just waiting. I'll have to uh, get a investors eventually. So. Well, just above the median. The engineers. Well, uh, seems shortage. like there's a shortage of glass now. I wonder what exactly is gobbling up the glass. Full output storage. Um, well, that means we should be making a lot more glass. Let's take a look here. Yeah, 59 glass. Hmm. Cover your ears. Full output storage. Oh, that's the issue. Okay, so we'll just need some more storage for a few things. There we go. We'll just build it at random since we're more concerned with the new world. Wow, almost our first million. Awesome. And apparently this isn't connected to a road? Oh, it isn't. There we go. Well, that explains why they weren't the able to get some supplies. Okay, so now uh, sun sunglasses should be being made. <laughs> Spectacles here. We're going to have to get on a coffee route from the New World, and then we're going to have to start making filament, but that won't unlock until we have 1,750 engineers. And I think... Yeah, we'll need, uh, oh, and electricity too, which means we're going to have to have another power plant down here. So the new world is going to require us to ship in oil and coffee in order to uh, get our engineers happy. So oil for the uh, electricity and, and the use of light bulbs, and then coffee there. Looks like it just activated, actually, that they need coffee now. Uh, since we're now supplying the spectacles, uh, this will uh, increase the number of engineers here, so we can start making a few other things. Although I don't know if workers work at the filament factories. Let's see. Engin I don't know if engineers are required to work there. Let's see. I think they are. Where are light bulbs, though? Oh, it's still locked until we get 1750. All right, well, then let's go ahead and work on the... Uh, well, first of all, I want to work on sending some ships back with coal. We've already got a trade ship here ready to bring um, steam motors and steel beams and things over to Sir Archibald Blake, so that way we can keep making money. So that's important. We need to make enough motors for him, so that way we can uh, make money. Because, you know, we're like 11000 uh, in in debt. We're losing money unless we're doing trades, so that's totally fine, so long as we do it that way. We have three factories making motors, so that's totally fine. So that should be enough. So let's get to the new world, then. And our main island here does allow us to make Work coffee, and it does have 15 oil fields on it, so we can import a lot more of that. So let's go ahead and start making some coffee, which requires obereros, so we'll need to increase the size of that. Oh, boy. All right, so what I'm going to do then is get this supply chain up and running and finish off a few things on the gas side. All right, we've started a little bit of the coffee production in the New World and a few other things that we need, but let's get on with the main voyage, and then we'll also work on those gas pumps on the You're side, too. I'm curious to know what happens next. So let's fly to the Hades and see what we have to do. Their boats. Will you seek them with this bird of yours? Yes. I dislike it in the clouds. There, clear tracks leading away from the boats. On course. All right, he wants us to go this way then and follow the tracks from the icebreakers. All right. Well, let's go up here and see where they lead. Light path plotted. Ah, something here. Looks like they used a boat to try to pull along. And then possibly abandon it? Interesting. Oh, there's a journal here. Sir John's Entries. Uh, April 26, 1848. We've been forced to abandon the HMS Styx and the HMS Hades. Uh, we Worth waited the entire shortage. summer for the thaw, but the weather gods were against us. They're still stuck fast in the ice. I'm certain that we can still find the Northwest Passage by foot, walking inland. We've filled two lifeboats with essential supplies and we'll pull them over the snow like sleds. When the next... Uh, when next we find water, it will be a passage to the east, and the lifeboats can row us to a safe haven. 
Uh, May 4th, 1848. The men tire. Dragging two lifeboats was perhaps ambitious, so they've been stopping to rest at regular intervals. I have ordered all that all remaining supplies be trusted to one of our lifeboats from now on, giving us double pulling power. Despite the setbacks, morale is good, and we lost no men since the winter on Baffling Island. Okay. Heading Let's continue set. to follow. Right Go, going around walking. this way, I see. Wow, look at the landscape. Oh, wait a minute. We found a camp. What could be... Oh, what's going on? on course. What is this? Something to pick up, too. More rocks. Looks like they set up a camp here. Another document. May 11th, 1848. We were at a crossroads. To determine the best way forward, I sent a team led by Commander H. Sturgeon through the canyon to the north. A second te a team led by Lieutenant Commander uh, Deyu went over the snow dunes to the west. The last team led Game by Commander safe. E. Couch went towards the deep chasms in the east. May 14th. No team has yet returned. Camp supplies are becoming rather scarce and there's little out here to hunt. I think we'd even gobble up those seals the Inuit offered us now. May 16th, 1848. Only two of the three teams have returned. I fear the worst for the befallen Edgar Couch's men. A risk we all took that day when we volunteered. It's hard here. Cruel, and the rest of us are to move on without delay. Their sacrifice will not be wasted if we make it. Commander Sturgeon reports his canyon tapered to a dead end. Do you God thank him. Uh, report something more promising. We'll take the path he took. The ground is too weak for boat, but I'd uh, but I'm not sure if... Uh, we'll think of something. We always do. Okay, so it looks like the canyon tapered to a dead end. Uh, Dayu reports that he found something. Okay, so Dayu went which direction? Dayu went to the snow dunes to the west. All right, which direction is west? here for a time. But then, where? Uh, I don't know which way is north at the moment. Okay, the mini-map shows this is north, I think. So we want to go this way to the you west. If this, if this little square here is pointing north, and this is west. If I have that correct. But actually, it probably wouldn't be a good idea... It wouldn't be a bad idea to, to look and see what we found. This actually is a dead end, so maybe I guess this wasn't west. But it's good to kind of peek at all dead ends to see what they lead to anyway. Maybe there's bonus items or something. On course. So it seems like some of the men went straight forward and fell into a chasm and the rest of them were like, oh damn and then they went around and the tracks end here or do they? Let's look around, even if they are dead ends the snow dunes. I fear for Heading set. Ah, there's more stuff here Oh, Santa! Son of a... There he is Alright, we got him Code 4, all units Suspect uh, in custody. <laughs> I guess it was worth it looking over here. Well, oh, there's stuff down here, too. Let's keep on looking around. We'll uh, just kind of peek around and see what we find. Oh, good. We found some uh, lost expedition scrap. All right. That'll be good for sales and stuff later. Let's just take a little gander around. Heading set. More stuff. It looks like we have to squeeze through there. So I'm going to head back to base. Oh, wow. We can only see On course. Uh, where the flares are. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Let's go back and check the other directions. Just want to see what else is there. Light path plotted. Oh, it looks like the airship can go up over those. Just want to find out what else is around. Okay, so that's a dead end as they reported. Okay. Right path plotted. And let's go east. I guess that is west then. Yeah, it seems like it'd be a good idea Did looking around. Let's speed up time a little bit. Just want to see what else is around here. Okay, some more free scrap. Set. More stuff there. Oh, actually, we found a reward. Uh, soapstone cool dick. Uh, oh, it affects the pemmican right, cookhouse. Plotted. Good, we can make stuff faster. Excellent. Totally worth it to peek around. Heading set. Good 
Dirigibling. The check copy? Let's see, we have 1.25 million. <laughs> you look as radiant Let's as see ever. here. That should draw attention away from me. this change is there we absolutely. Go. So we're on a rescue mission for Marvelous. lives. Yes. Okay, let's go west again then. Looks like we're still finding stuff, but is not I think that's enough for now. We'll go find it. The corrupt. We'll find some of this stuff later. Let's go back to the west. Eddie, Seems like that was the most promising. Bonus. So let's see, where was the path that we left? Mm, this looks promising here. Somebody went down there. Of course. Let's slow down a little bit now. More supplies, more bodies strewn about. We're getting close to something. Game save. Alright, let's keep looking. On course. No signs anymore. Dirigibling. Ah, wait a minute. Polar bears. Oh, I hope that didn't get them. Hmm. No tracks here either. Wait a minute. No, those are just polar bear tracks. Well, they actually make tracks in the snow. That's awesome. The animals can be tracked down. That's cool. Now more supplies here. Hopefully this will be something different than what we found before. Oh, more of the same uh, Lost Expedition scrap. So they definitely were around here. Let's work the coast. Alright, looks like this is paying off. On course. Oh, I feel like we're close to something. There's a uh, chasm. They couldn't have. Oh, wait a minute. I thought it was water. Maneuvering. Let's see if they somehow got up here. Light path plotted. Speed up time a little bit. Aha, there's more stuff. Wow, there's stuff all over. On course. Good, I'm glad we'll be able to turn this stuff in for some good money. And or to build something else later. Okay, let's return to the site. Your people are miserable. I know, same. Alright, let's start back here. And let's just follow the tracks this time around. So they went up here, made their base camp. Then there was the cliff here, where then they had to walk around. And then, if we follow the trail... Just gotta kinda keep close to the bodies. There's one there. So we just gotta kinda follow wherever the path may be. Light path plotted. There we are. Wow, a small little camp there. So they somehow climbed this uh, ice... Like, waterfall. Amazing. Glad we looked around for a little bit first. Page 3. June 21st, 1848. Perhaps the warnings of these Inuit had worth... The ice desert has been treacherous, and we lost both men and equipment. I see darkness in the eyes of the living, now that their companions lie buried. If you knew that we're also at the end of our supplies, you might understand their anger. But they are loyal men. They know they cannot hope to survive alone. They will only challenge me if I admit defeat, and that I refuse. A sheer mountain lies ahead. Uh, I had to stifle my stock at its sudden appearance and the perilous climb we must take uh, what must now undertake for morale among the men is already low I would not appear in my right mind as their leader if I asked them to turn and face the horrors of the desert we'd had uh, thrown behind them we climb and meeting us at the summit I believe a view upon the shimmering water of the northwest passage shall state the hunger okay. they dropped it all to make a difficult set. climb so they left everything behind to go uphill. Damn. And they made camp here. June 30th, 1848. Lost my best man, Commander Sturgeon, in the mountains. Poor man was too anxious to prove me right. Some made it, but all hungry and desperate. You need shovel loads to fuel your belly up here, and we have no food at all. There were grunts and growls in the night. Either we eat the resident bears, or they eat us. Bear country. Hunters must be strong to come here. Heading set. OK, 
Okay, let's keep on it. Where could they have gone now? Down this way. Light path plotted. Through the canyon. More supplies there. Ah, some of them did succumb to bears. This is years later, by the way, so... Some of these people should be covered in snow even after a few days. On course. The storm rises. Your bird will rock like a feather in the wind. Mm -mm. Okay, we have multiple ways to go. Heading set. Looks like that might be the right one. There we go. Page 5. June 3rd. Or sorry, August 3rd, 1848. Sir John has exhausted... Oh, entrusted me to Commander... Remy Deyou, with the completion of his log, and he has no longer the strength to put pen to paper, still, there likely won't be many more entries left for me to write. Uh, we are no longer killed by bears, but we have been lost days and weeks in high valleys. All that took the same, having lost our compass, we are now only six. Captain John Faithful, Sergeant, the first mate, little an engineer, Hodgson, and assistant surgeon Irving, ship boy, and myself, the boy lit lives because he's a good lad. None of us could suffer to eat <laughs> eat of him. Uh, the bear meat never was going to last, you see. Sir John did have us swear never to speak of that shame. But who does he think he we will tell? Alright. Alright, let's follow the path. Uh, uh, August 7th, 1848. Sir John speaks again. He says the silhouette of a great wolf came to him in his sleep and that he wishes to meet us. Our pack is down there. Sir John, the boy Irving, and me, Remy, we shall remain. Uh, remember Sergeant and Little Hodgson, and remember the others who were trapped and fell and froze, who fell ill, who starved, who drowned, who were maimed by bears, who slipped on high or fell through cracks, and we shall remember those when we ran out of food, drew the short straw in vain. If a passage exists, we have not found it, but through he is mad. I accompany Sir John to the end and the ferocious ship's boy Irving, our guardian spirit. Uh, the same superhuman strength was able to fend off grown men in the snow after his legs for... Oh, wow. After, <laughs> were after his legs for supper. Men who follow wow. your faith here can be men uh, let's see, which way do we go? Heading set. Well, I'm assuming if the Northwest Passage is here, then it's Northwest. Maneuvering. Aha! There's somebody there, my god. There they are, there's at least three of them. They found shelter. Light path. Holy crap. Too late. Too late. They're all dead. My impudence before the gods. We were doomed from the beginning. My stubbornness. My vile, reckless ambition. I should have died out there with them. I should have died. John, my John. John no more. I'm a phantom, my love. An exile condemned to this twilight plain for eternity. Say whatever you like, John. I did everything I could to find you and have absolutely no intention of giving up now. I never could argue with you. I am sorry about Sir John. He's had a hard time. They all have. I am ever so grateful to you. And do not think I have forgotten your reward. But for now, I must get my dear husband home. Call it a white lie. Call it a white lie? What the hell? What do you mean, white lie? Sir John was found. What, what do you mean? This guy is so... 
Sir, you're making so much fake news all the time, you don't even know what's real anymore. Sir John Faithful found. Sir John and Lady Jane reunited. Lady Faithful praises the crucial work of Captain Raptor. That's me. That's me. Uh, three heroic survivors return to loved ones at long last. Sir John Faithful, decorated for his courageous leadership, claims they partook in an anthropology vehemently denied. They definitely did not eat one another. Okay. Sitting eats each other. <laughs> Gotta be pulling my leg. Of course. Uh -oh, too soon. All right, I see. Oh, okay. So now... Sail to Lady Jane's Clipper. Okay, so now we have to return her husband. So he'll be on board this airship. So, I think now this is somewhat of the end of the DLC in terms of, like, the story that they've written along with it. Let's see if I can get this ship. There we go. I want to follow it along. There we go. So I believe this is the end of the written story, and now we get to continue to play the DLC looking for scraps such as that in this, uh, like, hidden snow world. And then... Uh, we can start exporting things such as additional gold. Um, we can also ex start exporting gas, it seems, which I think might only be used here for electricity, which is interesting because um, we can make things like uh, dog sleds and whatnot to be consumed for exploration and such. Um, so we can make those things faster. So it's kind of interesting to see what we can do, as well as these large ice shelves with the uh, gas on board is where we can make these trade ships to grow our island bases, I guess, which is kind of neat. So we can uh, build cities up here and then use those cities. They're kind of small, though, so it probably would be best for us to build them for gathering only gas for the airships, the really. Epidemic spreads and then maybe a, your city. maybe a few other small things, but we'd have to build some more, um, you know, more airships. The epidemic really cool. left buildings abandoned. Uh, we'll fix all the epidemic stuff now. Now that we've actually explored and finished the uh, story of the DLC, we can now kind of do whatever we want, which is pretty cool. All right, we should you be back where we're supposed to be. Where others have not. I promised I would oh, reward wow. you, and now I have. And thank you, thank hey. you, for bringing back oh. my dear John. Uh, the particularly pulley pulley, which we can add to airships to increase loading Waiting speed. Course. And excellent. The Lost Expedition. We did it. Fantastic. So now, oh, and so already got that on board. So we can put this onto a ship in order to send that back to the mainland, and we'll drop off our scrap here, too. Okay, so now we can start exporting things and, like, start focusing on building a much the more organized Sir city. William Perry had to abandon his ship, too. HMS Angry Wrath. It must still be out here somewhere. Oh, really? Oh, that she's just remaining. Uh, yeah, she's I telling me about that. I grew up his expeditions in the garden. I can still recite the coordinates of the Angry Wrath by heart. Oh, really? Oh, there's more to do. Fantastic. Light path. Well, let's go over here. I guess we can find another person. So I'm assuming this is just another mission to actually just gather scraps and such. So that'll probably be another side thing that we can do. All right. So let's <laughs> see. So, goals are to get people up top on the ice shelf in order to uh, start extracting gas, and then reorganize the city that I hastily built to go on the rescue mission. No matter what, it's, it's been years, so we were late no matter what. Um, let's see. And we can build more ships when we have more uh, gas. So, we can start with two at least, but we do have motors and such being traded. Look at that. We're at 1.35 million, so money's doing just fine. Additional resources have arrived, including steel and coal to keep everybody warm and whatnot. And we can keep on building and doing other things that way. Let's go back and see if we've discovered the other ship. Where is that thing? Ah, there it is. Perfect. All right, so she wants us to pick up cargo. HMS Angry Wrath. Such history. So it looks like... Oh, oh I uh, see. Yes, of course. The, the scrap will be useful, too. Uh, why not take it to Old Nate? All right, well, let's do this, then. If we're going to go to Old Nate... We know now that old Nate's going to take all the scrap. Just like in the Sunken Treasures DLC, Nate will come along uh, for, I guess, selling all the scrap and such that you want to sell. Okay, so, wow. Even th even though we're like 15,000 uh, 15, in the hole, we're still bringing in tons of money from machines and stuff back in the old world. Okay, so if we want to get our never technicians upgraded, they need to be supplied with uh, canned goods, which we can bring back from the old world. We got that going, so we'll just set up a supply trade for that. Oil lamps, which is interesting because I uh, probably ran out of, um, actually probably ran out of 
uh, brass. I don't have a supply route for that, so we'll get that fixed up. So canned goods and brass can be shipped in on one ship, and then we just need to start making husky sleds, which they won't start requiring until they reach 750. So we'll just have to Hydrogen make this area up here. Th this area up here will have to be all for the um, technicians, and then we can put explorers down here and see if I can, can expand it a little bit more. What we'll have to do is get rid of all the charcoal burners and just import pure coal from the old world. So we'll import brass, coal, and anything else we need from the old world, and then we'll maximize space for living quarters here so we can hit the appropriate populations. Now, I want to rename our island and all of our airships, and I want to keep on playing, but this seems to be the end of the line and uh, earlier than what I had thought. So let's do this. I want to continue the series if we get enough support around it. So let's get that Work one up to 1,500 likes. Remember, not voting is a vote to have the series come to an end. Even if you're not voting, you're partaking upon it. So let's go ahead and deliver this to Old Nate and see what we can do next. Otherwise, we're kind of out of stuff to do, really. Game so let's see. see if we can get our airship over here. Aside from uh, perfecting our city, of course. So let's see if we can bring this to Old Nate. This is Sam Scrap from William Perry's failed expedition. Still good for a lot of things. Indeed they are. Airship. I bet there's more scrap out there from all the other failed expeditions. Bring it here, and I'll transmute it. All right, well, we got 40 now, yeah. so that's great. I feel it reflects the times. Newspaper man, you hold on. Nate, how do we trade with you, sir? Maneuvering. <laughs> how do I transmute? Ah, there we are. Okay, so now we can basically trade. So if we put in... Select an, oh, I see. We can select an invention. And it costs a certain number of scrap. Uh, let's see. Uh, what seems the coolest? I like the propeller one. Can we go with that? Oh, we need to bring other materials. I see. You <laughs> it requires an fish and other stuff. Alright, uh, let's see. What other things can you give us, Nate, that just require like a basic... Oh, this one here requires wood. Oh, just a music box. Cool. Alright, so it's more like a tr it's I more like, like trading. No, oh, this is an easy one. Glass and such. Alright, fantastic. We had to go to press. Alright. So I know everybody came up with some great ideas for our airships and for our cities down below. So let's show some support and I'll make one last episode trying to optimize and build our city to perfection. Well, At least the one set. in the Arctic, because that one's just a little bit more interesting. So if you want to see the uh, Raptorian frozen outpost of the north have your name, have all the ships named and the airship too, leave a like and we'll come back for one final episode. Otherwise, the Frozen Passage DLC was very cool. I did like the story and that it was kind of short and sweet. It didn't have too much craziness to it and allows us to build and have new items to trade between the old world, the new world, and the Arctic. Pretty cool, especially since you can put stuff in your mu museums and such as well. So they're all linked together very nicely. All right, that is it for today's episode. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thanks for all the support. Hopefully we see enough for another one. I'd love to do more, and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye, everyone.